my name is Kara and I just graduated from ISU a couple of weeks ago in December of 2022 and I was lucky enough to get to study abroad in my last semester in Canterbury, England. So today I'm just here to tell you a little bit about my study abroad program, the country, and just overall what you can expect if you also decide to join the program. So like I said, I studied in Canterbury, England at a little school called Canterbury Christ Church University. The city of Canterbury itself is really interesting because it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So the beautiful Canterbury Cathedral looks over the entire city and then the historic city walls encircle all of Canterbury. So because of all its history, Canterbury does retain this very cute and quaint English feel, but at the same time it enjoys the amenities of a bigger city. It has like a shopping strip, so there's stores like H&M and other department stores, lots of bookstores, of course like big grocery stores. There's even a local theater where I went to see Les Mis during my time there, so there's lots of things you can do. And as far as where I lived in Canterbury, I lived in university housing about a 20 minute walk from the city center, and I lived with five other people, which could get to be a lot, but at the end of the day, I loved all my roommates. I had two American roommates and three German roommates. So I thought I'd just give you a little walkthrough of my university housing, just so you can get a feel of what it might be like. Going straight through, there's just a little living room, dining room, social area. This is where we all kind of hung out during the evenings. And then there's the kitchen. The university did provide us with silverware, cookware, pots and pans, everything we needed. I will say it was a little hard to keep the kitchen clean with six people, but we somehow managed it. Uh, there's three bedrooms up here at the top and two bathrooms. And then going straight ahead to my bedroom. Oh, it's a little dirty, but we're just gonna clean it up. There you go, that was satisfying. Same with the kitchen, they provided us with sheets and furniture and kind of everything we needed. It was a little small, pretty basic, but it got the job done. And then just going into the bathroom, pretty basic. And then just going up the stairs, there were a couple more bedrooms up there as well. And now I'll just take you on a little walk to school with me. So like I said, my housing was about a 20 minute walk from the city center and about a 15 to 20 minute walk to campus or 11 minutes if you're late for class and walking really fast. The weather was a lot of times just a little bit rainy and overcast, just like you would expect in England, but there were a few sunny days snuck in there. You can actually see the Canterbury Cathedral sitting there over in the distance right there. And then there's the dominoes. That's how you know you're getting close to campus. And then here we are, we made it to school. And so in this clip, I'm just walking to my literature class. I am an English major, which is perfect, I think, for studying in England, because what could be better than studying English literature in England? I mean, yeah, classes wise, it's pretty much the same as ISU. You go to class, there's a lecture, you take notes. I will say there was a lot less homework and essays than there are here in the States. So a lot of times after class, I would go to this little student center. They have a lot of snacks, just like sandwiches and a little coffee shop so i would a lot of times eat lunch there there's also lots of places to study so here's this cute little study space i will say the campus is really different from what we're used to at isu there's not really like a quad or a central meeting place and overall i think this is just a trend with schools in england they don't have sports teams or really any university events that kind of brings the whole campus together so that might be something to consider if campus social life is something that's really important to you. And while Canterbury was amazing and the school was great, by far my favorite part of studying in England was being able to travel all around the UK. So Canterbury sits in the southeast of England, so it's about a 20 minute bus ride to the coast so you can make day trips to little coastal towns like Dover and Margate if that's interesting to you. There are two train stations in Canterbury, Canterbury East and Canterbury West, so it's very easy to travel around the UK by train or bus. And Canterbury is just about an hour train ride from London. So I took so many trips to London. It slowly became my favorite city ever, maybe, but definitely in the UK. It's really easy to get around London on public transportation. There's of course the London Underground and even cheaper are the buses that run all throughout the city. Yes, the red double-decker buses are real. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know that was actually the main public transportation. So of course it was so fun to go see all the big tourist attractions, the London Eye, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace. No, I didn't see any of the royal family, unfortunately. London was also great if you're like me and a huge Harry Potter fan. I got to go see Warner Brothers Studios where the series was filmed and go to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Sadly, I missed the train to Hogwarts. 
but London's also just great for walking around, going to little markets, bookstores. I kind of made it my goal to go to as many London bookstores as I could, but I still have a lot to go to, so I think I'm due for another trip back to London. Anyway, of course there's more to see in the UK than just London. I was able to see Stonehenge, which was so amazing, honestly way better than I thought a pile of rocks could ever be. I went to Scotland, which was beautiful, and even Paris. You can take the Eurostar, which goes under the English Channel, straight from London to Paris. So there's a lot of options for traveling if that's one of your priorities when studying abroad. Overall, I really enjoyed my time in this program. Canterbury is the perfect little quaint English town, but it's also close enough to go to London pretty much whenever you feel like it. And of course, you're gonna make lifelong memories of traveling, of meeting people from all across the world, and just forcing yourself to try something new and go somewhere you've never been before. I also think if you are someone who really wants to travel but you're kind of scared of going somewhere new, England is a great place to go because their culture is really similar to ours. While of course there are differences between England and the US, it's somewhere where I don't think you're gonna feel too much like a fish out of water. So I hope this gives you some insight into the program and whether you decide to study abroad in Canterbury or somewhere else, you'll have a great time.